Hey, how's it going? So first and foremost, uh, it's not important to like or subscribe or leave a comment below or share this video with your friends. Um, I'm not a professional YouTuber, um, you know, so let's hope that YouTube doesn't slam an ad in the middle of this thing because that's not what I'm here for. I'm just some random guy that was having a problem with some Alienware computers, particularly controlling the fans and I wasn't able to find a solution online. I saw the question posed uh, in many a forum and YouTube videos over the last several years and uh, I think that it was simple there was a at least to an extent there was a basic misunderstanding of the problem as it was presented. Um, now the response was generally the same uh, check to make sure your BIOS is updated and that your GPU drivers and your, you know, other related hardware and that your, uh, you know, Alienware Command Center and secondary app, the uh, OC settings app, that everything's updated. And it's like, okay, I, that is all the case, but I still can't control the speed of these fans. They do nothing. When I go in here and make changes, nothing happens. Uh, now, this is because I was basically not understanding how this app worked, right? Uh, so, you know, there'd be a couple of points for developers out here too, but uh, let's get into it. So here in the Alienware Control Center, you'll see these profiles down here at the bottom, or Command Center rather. Um, now, the Thermal Profile Selector, you might see something different out here depending upon the system you have. I know my desktop computers don't have nearly as many pre-configured thermal profiles. Uh, that won't matter here in a minute because I'll show you we can make our own prof profile and actually get it to work. Now if you go out here and select a profile that is named something that suggested it's aggressive and there's no change to your fan speeds, no observable audible, you know, or you can't feel the fan air, the air being moved, you got another problem, right? Because these will change the fan profiles. Um, if they don't, go back to the basics, BIOS, drivers, the whole thing. Reinstall everything. Uh, but anyway, uh, so what I was trying to do on my desktop, because the, selecting the profile wasn't doing anything really as aggressive as I wanted it to, so I would click on the Fusion tab over here and click on the thermometer for the, th the thermal profiles. And I'm like, okay, well, we got this little blue line out here to the right of Quiet, which to me suggests that this is the active profile, uh, which in this case it is, but it's irrelevant, right? Because I can click on full speed and we can continue to watch the CPU run at 70 plus C when it's doing nothing. And the GPU up there too, why, why is this not going full speed? I thought maybe the sensors, the speed sensor may be off, but I can't hear these fans either. And I know that you know, some of these systems try to find a balance between, you know, comfortable acoustics, uh, you know, and adequate cooling. Well, there's, there are times that I just don't care how loud these things are. I want the performance, right? And these things heat up with these 30 series cards and performance is affected because those, as you get up into high temps, of course, the performance is throttling. Um, just to keep things cool. So I want that performance and I know these fans can do it. Anyway, so I would go out here and select this and nothing would happen. It's like, okay, maybe I'm in the wrong place. Let me click on the advanced tab. That's where the, the granular settings are, right? Yeah. Oh, it says auto managed. Maybe I need to change it to offset and just max this puppy out to 100% on the CPU, right? I'll hit save. Oh, you gotta call it something. So we'll call it something random. And, um, right, so, oh, it looks like it it's created a new profile. The stupid little blue lines out here, that which must mean that it's activated. Note to developers, that's dumb. Um, but anyway, then I go over here, it's like, okay, well, it's not changing anything. It's still 36%, even though I clearly have that set to 100. Maybe I gotta adjust the fan curve manually, right? Let's just kinda put these dots where we want them so that you know as the temperature increases the fan speed also increases too you know in response um, and then I'll hit save oh it updated right so according to this as I hover the cursor over here you know as it 
gets to 58 degrees and uh, you know it, this is where the offset is well I note to developers put some numbers out here please you got like temp and speed I mean I don't think it's gonna get too busy out here if you put some numbers that are representing something temperature and fan speed anyway so I hit save still nothing right it's like okay well maybe maybe the GPU and the CPU are sharing like a set of heat pipes and one the speed of or the temp of one is affecting the temp of the other right um, definitely not the case on a desktop but on a laptop maybe right so let me click on the advanced tab over here and I'll just kinda let's just max it out to 100 percent we'll max these both out to 100 percent you can see that it's saving over there on the left every time that I make these changes now the kicker is this whole tab is not an area to actually activate the profile that you just made changes to um, I will also just say that like on a desktop computer you'll have other things to adjust depending upon what kind of fan configuration you have. Um, on the desktop computers I have a 120 millimeter fan in the front and uh, a top fan that's part of like a water cool radiator system. Um, but you can control those fans too and see and I wasn't able to do that right so these I was to the point where I actually had the side of the case off the computer and have a powerful desktop fan, you know, pointed at these things. I mean, these these fans are damn near carpet dryers. You know, they're so powerful, and it it, it cools it right, but it looks stupid uh, <laughs> to have this set up like this. But uh, you know, whatever, it, you got to do what you got to do. Anyway, so so the way that you got to uh, actually active activate the profile that you just configured is to go back over to the home tab find the profile in these quick settings and click it then if you go back over here to the fusion tab and click the thermal profiles tab uh, you know forgive this back and forth this is the unintuitive nature of these uh, of this application you'll see the fans are spinning up you can hear them spinning up and then you'll subsequently see the temperatures of the GPU and the CPU drop, which is ultimately the goal. Uh, if you want them to, you know, of course you want to quiet them down, you can just go back over here and select a profile that, you know, is more to your liking acoustically, right? I mean, what gets me is you click on some of these things, like full speed, right? It puts that stupid little blue line out to the side which to me really makes me think that that profile is activated. I mean, look at these, you know, characteristics represented by these stars. We got like acoustic comfort, one star. That means it's obnoxiously loud, right? And then like five stars on the CPU and GPU. That means like the military is coming after you in GTA, right? Anyway, but uh, selecting these does nothing. You know, it puts this little line out here for effectively no reason. Uh, I mean, if you click on it here, any of the profiles that you can edit, the ones that you've made, then it does select it so that you can go out here and make the changes. Uh, but anyway, so uh, that's that. The important thing is from the Home tab, select the profile that you want after you've configured it. Uh, I would recommend, you know, setting up a, a custom curve, you know, just so that it I mean, I don't want my fans spinning at 100% all the time, but maybe when that temp really gets up there, forget it. Let's just max it out, right? So, but I hope this video helps somebody. Um, of course, feel free to share it. Um, uh, comment below, right? Whatever they, they say to do on those videos. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks very much. Sorry it took so long to get to that point.